Welcome back to Q Republic. Today is September 15th, 2021, Wednesday. Late selling back pedals PSEI climbed past 7,000. Stock finish in the red anew yesterday as last minute selling pulled down gains early in the session with the main index breaking past the 7,000 mark. Net foreign buying persisted with 3.6 billion pesos, however, excluding block sales. Net foreign selling prevailed with 200 million pesos according to AB Capital. While Unicapital research said stocks were relatively unchanged due to the absence of fresh leads. And for our top news for the day, no dine-in resto services for unvaccinated customers. Outdoor services are allowed to operate a maximum of 30% venue or seating capacity regardless of vaccination status. And for indoor only, which can cater 10%, the unvaccinated will not be allowed. Globe expands 5G roaming to Australia, Indonesia. Globe expands its global 5G roaming service to Australia via Vodafone effective September 15th. And Globe also partnered with Telkomsel in Indonesia and Starhub in Singapore earlier this month. Bees Bus next PSEI newbie. To quality or to qualify for the PSEI, the free float level of a company should be at least 15% and it must rank among the top 25% in terms of median daily value in 9 out of the 12 months in review based on full market capitalization. Mondes Cup is now at 315.9 billion pesos, almost at par with the 317.6 billion valuation of Universal Robina Corporation or URC, the nearest comparable firm in the PSEI. Other companies may have similar valuations as well, but they lacked uh, trading volumes. Given Monde Nissin's top performance, there's rising expectation that the company could make the PSEI's cut as early as in the next PSEI rebalancing in February 2022. European markets set for flat open as China data prompts global growth concerns. Asia-Pacific stocks fall as China's retail sales data disappoints. Casino stocks in Hong Kong plunge. And U.S. stock futures are flat following the dose 290-point loss. For our PSEI today, we closed at 6,880.20 with foreign selling of around 70 million pesos today. We're happy na konti lang ang lumabas sa ating foreigns uh, today despite na billions yung kanilang pinasok kahapon. Thus, positive pa tayo sa support ng ating foreign investors for this day. Looking at our volume today, nabawasan ng halos 75% yung ating selling pressure pero mataas pa rin yan compare sa normal average volume that we are uh, receiving dito sa ating PSEI. And based sa ating news kanina, kawalan ng fresh leads or catalyst yung isa sa mga reasons kung bakit hindi natin na-sustain yung ating 7,000 level. So more on sa chart tayo mag-re-rely ngayon kung ano yung possible next na maging galaw ng ating market. So almost similar kind of candlestick yung create ng market natin today signifying na malakas yung ating selling pressure or yung fear emotion ng ating market. So ito yung uh, pwede nating maging reading sa performance natin today kahit pa nabawasan yung ating volume or nabawasan yung selling pressure when it comes to uh, the volume. So kahapon sinabi na natin that our move yesterday will give more fear emotions sa ating market and ayun na nga nasundan tayo ng panibagong red today. Tomorrow meron tayong expect na pilot ng ating granular lockdown for NCR. So hopefully Huwag na siyang makancel para hindi na makadagdag pa ng negative sentiment sa ating market. Although that is a good news para sa ating economy, mataas pa rin yung fear, emotion ng ating market today. So dagdag na rin dyan yung ating COVID cases or yung COVID situation natin. So mas mabigat yung nakikita nating weight sa ating mga 
red flag. So, possible pa rin tayo masundan ng panibagong red by tomorrow which may touch our moving average 50 around 6,750 and kapag ka nangyari yan, meron tayong bearish pattern na 3 block crows na pwedeng ma-observe which can bring us down further soon dito sa ating major support around 6,461 area. Kaya naman, secure your gain kahit papano and reposition na lang tayo para naman hindi mabaliwala yung naging gain natin last time nung nakaposition tayo sa magandang area. So let us continue to monitor our market. Be wiser than we are yesterday and continue to invest for our future. For dito CME, hindi magandang sign yung performance ng ating market today. Nag-ascend pa lalo yung ating volume and we closed into red today. Although we had a foreign buying today, around 7 million pesos, still selling pressure pa rin yung ating uh, nakikita when it comes to our chart. So uh, pretty much kailangan muna natin mag-consolidate or mag-sideways uh, pagtapos ng ating downtrend move last time. So, hindi pa kaya ng market na magmaneuver from downtrend to uptrend kaagad. So, possible na mag-consume muna tayo or mag-sideways. Unfortunately, we can see 80% possibility sa pag-breakdown sa ating 8.14 area. So, iwasan po muna natin yung pagbili ng shares on its current range kasi malakas pa yung ating selling pressure and mas lalo rin tumataas yung fear emotion ng ating market. Ganun din naman, Secure uh, some gains if ever para maging profitability naman tayo or maging profitable tayo and reposition na lang tayo sa uh, stable or low price. Sa ngayon, the lowest that we may have is at 6.71 area but it's not confirmed yet as we still need to monitor dito CME closely to see yung possible good support natin after natin ma-break down itong 8.14 area soon. Napaaganda ng news na nakuha natin kanina for Monday. So, huwag na po tayo magtaka kung bakit pataas ang pataas or palagi tayo nag all-time high. As of the moment, that is because by next year, after ng rebalancing ng PSEI on February or possible March, is maging blue chips na itong si uh, Monday. So, all-time high na naman tayo today. Breaking our uptrend channel or itong ating Darvus box plus Napaagandang support ng ating foreigns today. So, meron tayong net foreign buying na around 150 million pesos today. So, overall, very good momentum. So, maganda-maganda yung strength ng ating market. So, overall, more on hold tayo, especially if nakaparticipate tayo during its IPO. Possible na talagang magandang hawakan na siya for long term like uh, years. And it will give you such a nice gift. Sa mga bibili pa lang or papasok pa lang, wala namang problema. Kaya lang you may have uh, set up a plan. Huwag muna kagad all in. Lalo if short term trader or mainipin tayo para meron tayong pang average down if by any chance. For AC Energy, noticeable yung pagtaas ng ating volume today in favor of selling. Pero sa ating net foreign indicator naman, consistent pa rin yung ating support so meron pa rin tayong nagitang buying and uh, today meron tayo around 95 million pesos ganun pa man we have to give weight on what we can see on our chart at lalo sa takbo ng ating PSEI opening pa lang natin kanina dito kay ASEN malakas na yung ating selling pressure kasi nag gap down tayo thus more on selling pressure yung may kita natin and yung fear emotion is nandyan na So, patuloy natin siyang obserbahan muna and hopefully, after natin i-reach yung ating moving average 20 or yung bottom ng ating uh, uptrend channel is makita tayo ng stability para mas makita tayo ng possible upside niya. So, more on observation po tayo kay EC Energy. For PHA, we are still on weak momentum and low volume. And unfortunately, wala pa tayong makita ang indicator that may give us a sign ng possible good strength at 1 peso area. Hence, we are at 80% na mabibreakdown natin yan. 
at uh, heading towards tayo or heading down tayo sa ating 0.90 area. So upon reaching dun sa area na yan, we need to re-evaluate muna bago tayo bumili ng shares to ensure the possible strength of that area. So more on observation po muna tayo dito kay PHA. For Apollo Global, we are also on weak momentum pero yung volume natin medyo mataas uh, compared sa normal in favor of selling. So meron tayong selling pressure. So kahit meron tayong consistent buying dito sa ating net foreign indicator, we should give more weight sa nakikita natin sa chart which is apparently hindi maganda kasi pababa tayo ng pababa. So puro red candlesticks yung ating binubuo as of the moment. So we need to continue monitor itong 0.10 area na wag ma-breakdown kasi ito yung strongest support natin as of the moment and pag nagtuloy pa tayo sa pag-breakdown, mas lalakas yung ating selling pressure and ganoon din rin yung fear emotion ng market. So ngayon po more on observation po muna tayo and hopefully uh, maging matibay pa rin tong ating 0.10 area kahit pa paano. For BSC, nag-increase ang ating volume today in for in favor of selling. So, meron po tayong selling pressure na nakikita despite po yan sa flat move natin dito sa ating net foreign indicator. So, wala naman tayong massive selling dito pero ang naging result pa rin is pababa pa rin tayo kay BSE. So, apparently, just like dito sa CME, market needs to rest first and possible na mag-sideways muna tayo after ng ating previous downtrend. So, you may want to take your gain on its current range. Kasi yung possible low na tinitingnan po natin is at 0.46. So especially if nakapag-accumulate ka on its low price. And due to the selling pressure that we have, plus yung ating bearish pattern na 3 block uh, crows, which is also possible bearish pattern na tinitingnan natin sa ating PSEI by tomorrow, soon we will break down itong 0.56 area ni BSC. So we are yet to identify soon if magiging stable na tayo pagbaba sa 0.50 area. Pero for now, uh, more on observation po muna tayo then uh, let's see kapag bumaba na tayo sa 0.50 area for JFC we could somehow mirror it to PSEI yung galaw na ating PSEI so nagko-correct din po tayo kay JFC as of the moment after po nating i-reach yung ating resistance around 205 peso area sa ating net foreign indicator Selling din po tayo for 2 consecutive days now. So around 34 million pesos po yung ating selling today. More on securing profit din tayo as of the moment. Uh, dito kay JFC kasi uh, pababa na po tayo ngayon. And uh, we can just reposition ulit once we got stable or sa mas lower price pa. So yung first support that we are going to re-evaluate soon. Kung pwede na ba tayo mag-accumulate ng shares sa 190 peso area. Then, at 173, should we see a continuous resistance at that time. For Globe, bumaba tayo today and uh, formed a bearish candlestick which we had expected yesterday due to the inverted hammer that uh, we had observed. Net foreign selling din tayo today, around 125 million pesos. Pero so far, so good pa naman itong si Globe. Probably mga pullback lang yung gagawin natin. Pero tuloy pa rin yung possible na magandang galaw niya. Especially sa mga news natin, lagi silang may bagong update. Kung napapansin po ninyo sa ating mga previous videos, lagi tayo may news para kay Globe. Pero for now, iwas muna tayo sa pagbili kasi very bearish yung ginawa natin today. So if ever may, uh, if ever, so may lower border tayo ng ating uptrend channel bibili which is around 2,870 area as of the moment more on uh, hold po tayo dito kay Globe for GMA after ng mga all time high natin nung nakaraan GMA is on resting mode so weak momentum po tayo and low volume as of the moment meron tayong sideways move with a big range and currently nasa middle tayo and we are being supported ng moving average 50 Pero nabablock ka agad tayo dito sa ating moving average 9. As of the moment, malakas pa ang ating resistance at 13 peso area. So iwasan po muna natin bumili ng shares on its current range. And more on TP rin muna tayo in case you haven't uh, done yet. 
especially if nakapag-accumulate na tayo on its low price. Kasi unfortunately, hindi na natin masusundan yung um, all-time high natin sa ngayon. So, might as well, kung di ka pa nakapag-TP, it's, uh, it's time to uh, take your profit. So, inverted hammer tayo. Today, weak momentum yung na-observe natin and forming higher lows. So, expect na mabibreakdown natin completely yung ating 13 peso area in yung possible low natin is at 11.40 area pa. Pero along the way, we can check GMA strength and momentum para mas maging maagap tayo sa possible good area niya in case man na hindi tayo tumuloy sa 11.40. For a boy this power, we form a very bullish candlestick today accompanied by high volume. Plus, check lang po natin itong ating monthly time frame. So here, may kita natin na na-breakout natin yung ating strong resistance at 27.90. So resistance natin siya since February uh, 2021 or February 2020. Looking on possible resistance, Meron tayong immediate TP area dito at 30 pesos. Pero possible din namang mabreak yan pag natuloy pa yung ating momentum. And the next resistance that we are seeing is at 33 peso area. So, yan yung pinaka-strong resistance na nakita natin as of the moment. So, balik lang po tayo dito sa ating daily time frame and check natin yung ating net foreign indicator. So, in here, three consecutive trading days na tayong selling. And today, we are at around 24 million pesos. And kung papansinin natin, mas nadagdagan pa yung ating volume. So, wala tayong makitang support sa ating mga foreigns as of the moment. So, dito sa foreign, uh, net foreign indicator natin, medyo malakas yung ating selling pressure. Having said that, breaking the 30 peso area is still possible. Pero possible din muna na mag-build muna tayo ng ating base or strength just like this one. So it's either sa may resistance area tayo magko-consolidate or sa middle or sa support natin. So isa yan sa mga expectation na pwede natin tingnan in case may hawak ka dito kay Abortis Power. So very bullish tayo. Hindi muna natin siya ma-expect na another bullish again uh, by tomorrow. So possible na mag-consolidate muna tayo sa kanya. So more on hold tayo. And pwede rin naman tayong uh, mag-take profit ng some of our shares or portion of our shares to secure some profit. Then abang tayo sa possible low price niya to repurchase. And then yung next na i-aim natin na resistance is at 33 peso area. For FNI, after nating ma-block at moving average 100 dito sa ating yellow line, nagtuloy-tuloy na yung ating mga lower high. So as of the moment, malakas yung ating resistance at 2.40 area. Meron naman tayong support dito sa ating uh, net foreign indicator. So in the short term, meron naman tayong support or continuous uh, buying. Kaya lang, we have to give weight sa uh, flow ng ating market as of the moment, which is actually uh, going down. So meron po tayong downtrend na na-observe. So be on the side muna kay FNI. Kasi high likely we are going to break the 2.26 area and heading down again tayo at 2 peso area which we need to reevaluate at that time if safe na bang kumuha ng share sa area na yan o malakas pa yung ating selling pressure at that time. And that's it for today. Kung nagustuhan niyo po itong video na ito, please don't forget to like it and share it as well para mapagbigay insights din po tayo sa iba. And also, kung meron po kayong additional information or thoughts dito sa review na to, comment nyo lang po yan para makatulong din po or makapagbigay information din po tayo sa iba. At sa inyo po na gusto magpa-review ng kanilang mga stocks, comment nyo lang din po yan para maisama po natin sa ating next session. And sa mga bago po nanonood ng video na ito, don't forget to subscribe. Para lagi po kayo maging updated sa mga bagong videos na nilalabas po natin. Maraming maraming salamat po. I'll see you soon. Pure Republic.